I just got off the toilet and I'm bad at using moist criticals critters. Toilet, ah! Oopsie! I just got off the toilet and I'm about to use moist criticals critters. Toilet paper. After years, I'm here. First class delivery to hand him his first L. I want to take this moment to appreciate myself for spotting this massive mistake. Before you hit dislike, this is satire. He made a claim and one I believe I can prove to be deeply wrong. I would wager the most gullible people on the planet are like the mid-20s people on the cusp of what they think is new technology or anything that will make them money. I think those are the most gullible people. And this got me thinking, is Charlie right? What community is the most gullible? As with the internet, look, gullible people have opportunities more than ever. On this floating rock, we have many, many businesses. There are those that contribute to society and solve problems, and there are those that exploit society and create problems. Now, we'll measure the most gullible community using two metrics. One, the quantity, how many people support it, and two, the quality, how much money do they get out of their community? Hello, Vsauce here. What makes someone gullible? Usually, it's a type of belief system. One on which you believe something despite the absence of evidence. Uh, Joe Rogan, can you break this down in a simpler form? We have strong opinions and no information. <laughs> <laughs> a great example is the flat earth community. The real it's really easy, be... you put them on a ball because, again, I'm crazy. <laughs> you put them on a ball, my guess is you're on a ball, you're nowhere. Don't try to go anywhere, just stay there and work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> stay you there and work. But wait, there's another one. The inability to measure someone's integrity. As a great example, YouTube thrives off this because if you could actually measure the integrity of some content creators, whoo! But I'm glad we have this flaw, otherwise society would collapse. If you looked into my heart, you'll find nothing but rot and insecurity. And I am beautiful, no matter what they say. <laughs> Thank you, Vsauce. That was a, a brilliant take. Now, Let's go deep, and we're going dark, because when fighting Jesus, you call upon the devil! Gullible communities have a type of emotion that's easily exploited. Anticipation, but the type where something good is coming. To show you this, we'll perform an illegal psychological experiment on a child, just to build it in. Okay, Sophia, we're gonna go to the shop and get M&Ms. Act actually, Actually, no, we can't go to the shop. I don't want to go. We're going back home. What? We're going back home. We're not going to shop. I know we are going to shop. No, we're not going to shop. We are! Your no. Face is talking. You're, you're, yes, we are. Your face is telling me we are. Again, yeah. am I smiling? We're not going to shop. We are! We're not going to shop. Yeah. Nope, we're going to go straight home. <laughs> I'm joking, okay, we're going to shop. Yay! Now, Charlie believes that the most gullible people are those in their early 20s whose goal in life is money. Let's quickly psychoanalyze this specimen of human just to understand the creature. Usually, it's a male, it's poor, and very materialistic. They typically enjoy getting flexed on by people such as rice gum. Their education isn't promising. Their social life and dating life is usually non-existent. Their life quote is the path of least resistance and intelligence. This creature often has a misconception of being rich. They fail to understand it's part natural talent, part opportunity, and hard work. They're like Tinkerbell. It's like, oh, but if I believe, but if I believe. They spend their time watching a small portion of rich people in incredibly profitable businesses such as YouTube. And despite middle class in the year 2023, probably being likely the best experience a person has ever lived throughout history, a king 100 years ago would probably trade away his place in an instant just to be you. But to them, middle class is equivalent to homelessness. Life hack time! The most happiest people you'll ever meet are those who are kind, passionate, and interesting. They interact with the world in a more positive way and usually have a great community of friends. In short, their dream is getting rich and they have no idea on how they're actually going to achieve it. But wait, but wait, there's a new crypto coin now! SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! Usually this dream is a short-lived fad, but a guru will come along and feed that anticipation. 
You want to be rich? Watch my videos, it's easy. Most people just don't know how I have this information, but you know, it takes such a long time to relay such a masterpiece. So I'm gonna spread it through 400 videos. Honestly, you'll be a multi-millionaire by the end. And my online course, <laughs> that's billionaire material. So look, it's 10,000 pounds, but you'll make it back, man. Basically, they're dream sellers or delusional re -enhancers. So, Charlie, let's see how many people make money off people's fad dreams. Quantity. We'll check the biggest one. That's going to be Andrew Tate. On YouTube, he was getting 800k an episode. On Rumble, now 300k. After his ban, his podcasts usually get about 2 to 10 million. His course has 200,000 subscribers, earning him 11 million a month, around 132 million a year. But, but, we're gonna triple it, so don't complain because I know there are many more out there. This effectively means 400 million pounds a year of the world's economy is a scam. The whole thing reminds me of a filthy Frank joke. Ooh, yeah. Ah, yes! Entrepreneur. Let's take a look at every Instagram photographer's life. I have no talent whatsoever. I, I wish you could buy talent. <laughs> I want to go to Hustle University. Oh, fuck. Not this bullshit again. But, Daddy, look at these fake reviews. Let me see that. Holy fuck! It's time to throw away all your applications. Because you're going to all Hustle University! Just kidding. Kill yourself. Grow the fuck up! Now, can I find a community with a larger quantity and quality? So, my candidates are... Scientology. I was thinking mega churches, flat earth, or maybe diet programs or gym programs, but... I want to win, and I'm going to give Critical an L. Scientology comes up with 500 million a year. So I win on the quality, but after looking at the quantity, I've, di I've, I've lost. S some say it's about 100k. Okay, we're pulling out the big guns. <laughs> come on, come on, mega churches. I need, oh my God, to beat Jesus. We need God. Now, don't take this as me insulting your religion. This is me insulting an aspect of your religion. I just think a religion should be like education, free, and it shouldn't be made into a cutthroat business. Now, it's kind of hard to find out how much money they actually earn, but we can find out their tax subsidies. Subsidies, sub, subsides, subsid, fuck. Whatever that word is. So according to the University of Tampa, that's 71 billion pounds a year. Oh yeah, boom! Now, Mega Church has been the most profitable. We're gonna actually slice that down to 170th, and uh, it still beats Critical. So it looks like this is a W for me and an L for Critical. Woo! Finally! But Andrew, why is it a scam? Why? Because instead of investing in the stock market, if you invest in God, then guess what? You get more returns. Not, not from get, getting money back, but... God will fly in and like help you in life kind of thing if you just give him some money and people fall for it. Oh what and the pastors? Yeah, they're mi are they millionaires or billionaires? I think one's a billionaire. The rest are like 900 million, 500 million I think. I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you got this far, please like and subscribe. I don't know why one video gets 1k and the next one gets 10 views. I just, I don't get it sometimes. But leave in the comments what you think the most gullible community is. Because I know that when you have, say, reality and flat earth, there are many communities just in between there. Like maybe in between you had those 20-year-olds um, who want to get rich quick. But I want to know what all those weird communities are. You might have the, like, sea salt communities where... I'm not sure how it really started, but it was Himalayan salt. So this pink salt. And what happened was people were saying it had spiritual properties allowing you to I think sleep better naturally psychologically heal and people sold it for those reasons they made lamps out of salt basically salt lamps and they're able to spike the price up a little bit you could even say that diamonds are a little bit of a gullible thing that people thinking diamonds are valuable when actually they have a bunch in storage these aren't even like gullible things right these are like societal manipulation things that have actually happened so I'm not too sure but yeah, anyway, like and subscribe really helps the channel. And also a shout out to Critical. I think he's one of the only content creators who has been like consistently great. There are many content creators I think that you watch when you're younger. I think Syndicate and Phantom Lord were two of mine. And then they both scam their audience through gambling. What I love about Moist Critical is that he's just never, he's never done that. He's never tried to profit off his audience. And in fact, he, 
Like, he's actually, like, if you donate to him, he'll actually recognize you and say thank you. It doesn't matter how small it is. He's like, oh, thank you so much. I think he donates a lot to charity. I know he helps out a lot of, I, I believe this anyway. But he actually, if best you have a dog and you want to take him to a vet, but the vet's too expensive, I think Moist Critical has been known to actually pay for people's uh, pets' treatment, which is, like, awesome in my opinion. Big respect to Critical anyway. He's, he's a, like, I love his, like, uh, form of speech, right? It's a... Uh, Today, guys, I have uh, truly scraped the bottom of the bowel and found the scum and mucus that was left behind to rot. This community is uh, somewhat of a far out reach. It should never have been found, it should have been left there. It will make your nipples in the inwards and, you know, prevent you from breathing. I don't know, it's like that, that sort of weird humour. You know, you see what I'm getting at the style? Maybe not so much, it'd probably be more along the lines of... If my eyes could twirl to the back of my head, they would. <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh, it's like saying very strange things, like... Uh, Earlier today, I tried to solve a Rubik's Cubes with a singular nipple, and that was still more interesting than this video. Anyway, I'm, I'm messing around, dude. I'm ruining my watch time. Just have a good one, guys. Have a good one.